let's talk about labeling a titration curve. A couple of important points that you need to know. Um, so this is going to be a weak acid that is titrated with a strong base. Um, so the volume of this titrant down here, this would be your base. And over here, because I'm starting at a low pH, this is going to be your acid, your weak acid. So you'd be at like a pH of about three. Now, here are the important points to look at. This is going to be your initial concentration right here. That, I'm going to circle that. That's the initial concentration of this particular, or excuse me, initial pH, um, which would be initial concentration um, of this weak acid. Um, so sometimes you'll be asked, what is the beginning pH? What's the initial pH? Um, and it's that point right there. I just look and go, oh, maybe this is a pH of three right there. Fabulous. Um, now this point, really, really special. Um, in AP, it's going to be called the halfway point, but I've seen it named several different things. So I've made a list down here. It depends on the classroom you are in. It de depends on the textbook that you're using. Here are synonymous, okay? These are the same, same meaning. Um, halfway point can also be called the midpoint. I've seen it written as half equivalence point, and I've also seen it called the ideal buffer. Okay, all the same thing. And here's what it is. Here's the definition. It is where the pH equals the pKa. It's where the pH equals the pKa. It is when the um, this acid right here, the concentration of that acid equals the concentration of the conjugate base. It means we've reacted exactly half of the moles. Half of the moles have reacted. Um, so you have half of that acid left over and half of the conjugate base as a result has been produced. So you're halfway through the reaction. This volume, sorry, and I didn't do that to scale. Sorry about that. This volume and this volume, that divides it in half. So you'd have like 20 mils and 20 mils. Sorry, pretend that I did that in the middle really pretty. Um, so that shows you exactly half the volume to get to the equivalence point. I'm going to write this down here too. Half volume, right? Volume of the titrant, of the titrant to equivalence. So we're halfway there. We're halfway there. So half, midpoint, you can see why they named it that way. Um, and the really cool thing is that's where pH equals pKa. You can look at Henderson Hasselbach, that video, um, and ideal, or look at buffers um, to see the math behind that, why the pH equals the pKa. Now, two more important points that you need to know on um, a titration curve. This, I would say, is the most important. It's the equivalence point. And you'll recall that the equivalence point is when the moles, really important, is the moles of that hydrogen ion equals the mole of the hydroxide ion. So in essence, it's the mole of the acid equals the mole of the base. Super special, super special that when we add the exact amount of the moles of the base to equal the amount of moles of the acid that you began with in that Erlenmeyer flask. Um, and that's the equivalence point. Now, how can you tell that? Um, well, you can be using a pH probe. Uh, we could do calculations. We can use ice tables to figure that out. Or you can use an indicator. And you can watch my video under um, acid-base equilibrium, the video called indicators, to look at indicators. The indicator gives us what's called the end point, and this is also an important term to know. The end point is simply where the reaction changes color when it reaches the equivalence point. So this is going to be um, using an indicator, uh, the reaction changes color. And when that color changes, um, so you go from clear to pink if you're using phenolphthalein. By the way, that's the first titration I did when I was 12 years old with my dad at a laboratory. And it was that moment when I saw that beautiful, brilliant pink that I went, chemistry is so cool. And I was hooked. I was hooked. <laughs> it was this curve right here, that end point so special in my heart of phenolphthalein, the end point when it turned pink. We hit the end point, it was the equivalence point. So the end point is where we actually visually see the color change. We see the color change, and what does that tell us? It, tell us? it tells us that we are at the equivalence point. So those are the very significant points on the titration curve. Now, I just want to um, 
finish this off, not that you'll be asked, but sometimes I'll have students say, well, Mrs. Slob, what about this up here? Um, well, this just tells us that we have added enough of this base um, that it's really reading just the pH of that pure base. Um, the little conjugate base that is left right here is going to do a little reaction. Um, it will slightly partially react with water. Um, and it, that conjugate base that's going to determine the actual pH of this reaction um, at the equivalence point. Um, and you can watch the videos on that, ice tables, you're all good. Um, but if you keep adding the titrant, it totally overwhelms that conjugate base um, reacting, doing that slight reaction, um, and it dominates the pH. So this right here is really just showing the pH of that pure base. We have so little conjugate base right there reacting um, that it is negligible in comparison to the large amount of base that now is being read. Um, so that that's all that is. It gives you the final the final um, pH of the base. Now remember, we could do this opposite. I could take a weak base and I could titrate it with a strong acid. You'd start here at about a pH of 11. Um, here's going to be your halfway point, all right? Uh, also midpoint half equivalence. Um, there's your equivalence point where the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. You're also going at your end point right here, and this would be the initial concentration of the weak base. So same, same thing um, if you're doing, in this case, I'm gonna write it down, that would be a weak base with a strong acid. So this would be your volume of the strong acid and this would be the pH of that weak base. Okay, good work. So proud of you that you're learning about titration curves. Keep going one step at a time. You're going to get it. Have a nice day. Thanks.